Jerk of the week. Um, who do you have there, Chair? Uh, so for the jerk, of course, I, uh, you know, I was, I, I watched all the games at the same time. They're bouncing around. And I turned away from the Lions game. I was like, okay, the Lions like to suck at the end of games, but they're not going to give this one away. Even though, yeah. even though Alex Henry, who was the jerk of the week, uh, continues to miss field goals. He's one of five on the entire season. So he missed a game winning, he missed a game winning uh, a field goal, potentially. There was some time left, even yeah. if he made it. Nah, 47 yards, he's a professional. So at 47 yards sounds so long. No, dude, you're a professional, kick the field goal, win the game. He missed three. So by the way, even if you, it made your first two, you're not in the same kind of trouble. You're probably right. up by six or even more than that. So because just, it changes the whole game. That's when right. you leave the ball on the field versus kick it and back off the next time after you score a field goal, it changes the entire complexion of the, complexion of the game. So anyway, so uh, his name is Alex Henry. It's not even spelled like Henry, it's Henry. So wherever this guy, he's from, uh, is this kid from Nebraska. He's not a kid, he's 27 years old, he's a professional, he's been in the league for four or five years. He keeps missing field goals. Now, uh, Jim Caldwell afterwards is talking, uh, Caldwell, um, um, uh, everyone that's in the, in the press conference keeps walking through going, yeah, you know, I mean, we have a problem in the kicking game. I mean, the kicking game, problem in the kicking game. Alex Henry's about to be out of a job. Yeah, yeah. Very soon. Okay, so yeah, I, I, we have the same jerk of the week, but it's not really on Alex Henry, if you ask me. So he's a terrible field goal kicker and should seek a, a different line of employment, mm -hmm. right? But it's, it's mainly about the Lions organization and about Jim Caldwell. Because, and it, it's the same loser Lions organization that picked a loser call coach like Jim Caldwell after three other loser coaches in a row, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and Caldwell picks a loser kicker like Henry because that's who, that's who they are. I, uh, first of all, I bet on the Bills to win, because, even though they were huge underdogs, why? Because the Lions suck and they love to lose to teams that they shouldn't lose to. And that whole time they were winning in that game, I had a friend watching the games with me. I was like, let's come back to this because the Lions are going to lose this game. Okay? The only thing that was preventing them from losing earlier was how incompetent the Bills were. Like, that's not hard. Like, I mean, the Lions, that's the thing. I, I literally told my friend as we were watching, this is a clown off. Okay? One side is trying to out clown the others. I mean, the Bills got about 3,000 yards in penalties. It, Orton is back. And doing I, Orton like things. I'm not sure what happened with that. What happened <laughs> okay. to EJ Manuel? Is he injured? He just got benched. They just, they just, yeah, they think he they sucks. They said the Bills are okay. By the way, one week ago, we were just talking about how the Buffalo Bills, wow, they only lost one game. Yeah. And I look up and I said, wait, did EJ Manuel turn an ankle and warm ups? No, no, no. They think Orton is better than Manuel, even with his cheesy serial killer <laughs> mustache. And then they come back, and I, and, I, and I literally, I swear to God to you guys, before that the Henry even missed the kick, and the Bills uh, hit their kick, mm -hmm. field goal kick. I said, in a clown off, the Lions are not going to lose. Meaning they're going to yeah, they're, they're better gonna at clowning. They're going to clown the other team. Okay, that's what the Lions do. Yeah, so, I mean the offense looked pretty pathetic the entire game, uh -huh. and then you have one great pass, you know, down to Golden Tate, who I don't know. I I, I always like the guy who over celebrates and is a little too into it. But he's that guy, and for some reason he bothers me. That's just a side note. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's a Notre Dame guy. I don't know, but he bothers me. But anyway, he he's, looks great. Looks good. He's, he was the only thing they had all game. I was, you know, and then they had a pick six. That was the only those were their scores of the game. So yeah, the Lions are miserable. Even when they were three and one, someone asked me before the game started, "Would you double down on your monster bet against the Lions for the whole season?" And I said, "Hell yeah, I would." But and we the big the losing has just begun for the Lions.